Hello friends, welcome my YouTube channel, Electrical Design Engineering. On this channel you will learn various design softwares free of cost. I have small request to please subscribe my channel. The various softwares are, Etap, Dialux Evo, Dig Silent Power Factory, PVSyst, AutoCAD. In addition to that you can learn various technical things related to electrical design. To remain connected with us please join our WhatsApp group and Telegram group. Link of these groups is given in description. Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. This is our lecture number 37 of our free chorus ETAP. And in this lecture we are going to discuss about optimal placement of capacitor banks. The content of this lecture are introduction, capacitor, importance of capacitor banks, Standard is followed for the capacitor banks. How to calculate capacitor bank size. An example of calculating the size of a capacitor bank. And placement of capacitor banks. First of all, we will go for the introduction. Introduction. Capacitor banks play an important role in improving the efficiency and importance of an electrical power system. They help in power factor correction voltage regulation and loss, uh, loss reduction, making them essential components in industrial, commercial and utility power networks. Importance of capacitor banks. The various importance of capacitor banks are power factor correction. Capacitor banks compensate for the reactive power drawn by the inductive loads, improving the power factor and reducing penalties imposed by the utilities. Voltage regulation. They maintain stable voltage levels across the electrical network, preventing voltage drops that can affect equipment performance. Reduction of power losses. By reducing the reactive power flow, capacitor banks decrease line losses and improve overall efficiency of the system. Increased system capacity. Power factor improvement reduces the apparent power demand allowing existing transformers and generators to serve additional loads. Enhance equipment life, proper voltage regulation, reduce stress on electrical components, extending their lifespan. Standard is followed for the capacitor banks. Several international and national standards define the specification, design and installation guidelines for capacitor banks. Some of the widely followed include IEC 6871 that is related to shunt capacitors for AC power system above 1 kW. IEC 60931 that is related to low voltage power capacitors. IEEE 18 are related to power capacitors standard for medium and high voltage applications and IEEE 1036 or related to the application guide, guide for the shunt capacitors. IC 13340 and 13341 is an Indian standard for low and high voltage capacitor banks. How to calculate capacitor bank size? The required capacitor bank size is calculated by using the formula QC that is the rating of a capacitor bank is equal to P that is the active power tan theta 1 that is the initial power factor angle theta 1 is the initial power factor angle and minus tan theta 2 uh, theta 2 is the power factor angle you want what was the power factor you want now we will take a simple example using the above uh, previous formula to calculate the capacitor bank size For if an industrial plant operates at 500 kilowatt with an initial power factor of 0 0.7 and we aim to improve it to 0.8 95. That means the industrial power plant, we have an industrial power plant which is operating at 500 kilowatt and we are aiming, this power factor is 0.75. Now we are aiming to improve its power factor to 0.95. What is the size of the capacitor bank use, should be we use to improve this power factor from 0.75 to 0.95. How we find, we can first find the tan theta 1 that is tan 0.75 value and tan theta 2 for uh, 0.95 that is 0.3 which for, uh, see here the power factor is cos phi 1 is 0.75 we have to find the phi 1 value and phi 2 then we have to find the 
tan theta 1 value and tan theta 2 value. These values are 0 0.88 and 0 0.33. Now at 2 power that is the P is already found that is uh, 500 kilowatt. So we are using the formula QC is equal to 5 that is P and tan theta 1 is 0 0.88 and tan theta 2 is 0 0.33. Is equal to 500 into 0 0.55 is equal to 275 kilo volt ampere reactive. Here the power factor 0 0.75. So we write uh, cos 0 0.51 is equal to 0 0.7 and find the 51 value. And similarly, cos 52 is equal to 0 0.95 and find the value of 52. Then we find the tan 51 and tan 52. Sometimes the uh, person gets confused and is generally putting taking the value of theta 1 as 0 0.7 and taking the value of theta 2 as 0 0.2 and theta 2 as 0 0.95 and finding the value then it will be wrong calculation. Placement of capacitor bank. Now what the question is that uh, now we have calculated the capacitor bank needed. What will the what are the capacitor bank we need? Now we have to find the placement. There are two ways to play, find the placement. You can generally put the uh, capacitor bank at some location after manual calculation. Another thing is that you can use the ETAP software and find the location where you have to put the capacitor bank. But here we are going first of all to discuss the simple, uh, generally I will provide you some guidelines where you can put the capacitor bank. Then in the next lecture, we can go for the, uh, by taking the example in ETAP software and I will show how to place the capacitor bags on ETAP. Proper placement of capacitor bank is essential for maximum efficiency. Consider the following guidelines at load centers. When you place the capacitor bank at load centers, when you install the capacitor banks close to the large inductive loads, minimize the transmission lines. So it helps increase in the efficiency of the transmission losses. If you use the capacitor bank as substation or in distribution panels, it helps improve power factor at system level and stabilize the voltage. Sometimes we, instead of using a large single large bank capacitor bank, we use multiple small capacitor banks at different locations. Another is thing is that we have two types of capacitor banks. One is fixed and another is automatic. Fixed capacitor banks are generally used for the steady loads and the automatic capacitor banks are used. They are equipped with a controller to adjust their compensation dynamically based on demand fluctuation. When their load increases, they can change their compensation according to the load and they are adjusting their compensation as per the load requirements. Thank you.